The first step in conducting a literature review is defining a topic. So what are you interested in? Your personal interests and curiosity should drive your choice of research topic. But your personal interests and your curiosity are going to need some refinement. And you can refine them in three ways, by specificity, focus, and vantage point. I'm going to talk about each of these three ways. Specificity is when you take your um, personal interest and curiosity and you try to choose an area within it um, that would allow you to narrow it down because likely your, your interest is going to be too broad for you to adequately cover. The more you know about a topic, the more you're going to realize how large the knowledge base is and uh, what are some of the sub areas that you could select within it to focus on in your uh, literature review. The second area is focus and that has to do with the subject areas that are part of your topic. Um, for instance, in my dissertation I was interested in assistive technology use by students with disabilities. So I wanted to look at uh, assistive technology, um, but students with disabilities is pretty broad. So I can narrow that down by just looking at a subset of students. And I did that by looking at just secondary students because I found that technology was used differently in elementary grades than it was used at the upper grades. So I chose to focus on the secondary level. And then I also, as I was reading, found that there are differences in how technology is used based on disability type. And there are big differences between mild disabilities and, and moderate severe disabilities. So I wanted to focus on the disabilities um, that are more likely to uh, have students educated in the regular classroom. And I found that to be the specific learning disabilities and emotional and behavioral disorders. So that's what I narrowed my topic down to. And then the third area is perspective. So I am coming at my research and my writing from the educational technology perspective. There are some in, in this course that are coming from a sociology perspective or from um, English speakers from other languages perspective. Um, or maybe even human resource development perspective. So as you're deciding on your topic, you need to choose a perspective to uh, write from. You may be interdisciplinary, so that's where you choose. If you're um, really into one particular field, like I am into educational technology, it should be pretty straightforward that uh, you know, that's your perspective. And then as you are considering your topic, think about what the academic community from your discipline needs to know about the topic. It should be worthwhile for you to research and for readers to read about. So here's how to identify potential research topics. Like I said, they come from your personal interests and curiosities. I recommend starting with some quiet, introspection that you do on your own, just thinking about what you have done leading up to this point. As we looked at areas of expertise, we talked about some of the experiences that we've done in the past relating to those areas. Maybe that's where some of your curiosities can come from. What academic disciplines do these curiosities relate to. So take notes as you spend some quality time thinking about what you're really interested in, what, ha what your experiences have led you to, and um, how that might translate into a good research topic. Then I recommend taking that internal introspection to someone that is in one of the academic disciplines that relates to your interests and do some more brainstorming with them. Talk to them about those interests. They probably have more ideas um, about what the discipline needs to know in those areas, and they can suggest um, some more ideas to add to your list. 
Then take a broad look at the literature. Um, we're not reading articles yet, but we're looking through the table of contents of recent journal issues um, in the academic disciplines that relate to your interests. Uh, when I was in my PhD program, I visited the library often, and I would actually thumb through the physical copies of the journals, looking at the table of contents, looking at abstracts of articles that I was interested in, just to get a handle on the kinds of topics that were being researched and written about in my area of interest. Um, for my topic of looking at assistive technology use by secondary students with mild disabilities. I was looking at the Journal of Special Education Technology a lot uh, because I did find a lot of readable, valuable articles in that journal. So pick a few journals and look at what's being published. Then you can do some keyword searches through the magic of the internet. Um, the articles are logged by keywords so you can find more articles but I would recommend limiting your search to specific journals just so you don't get overwhelmed with too many sources from areas that aren't really relevant to your your study of the topic. After you do some broad looking at the literature take a look at any articles that really popped out to you and skim through them, look through the references at the end, look through the literature reviews that they have, and see if you can identify some theories and principles and key ideas that seems to be coming out um, in, their, in their writing. Um, you can note any additional ideas that you might be interested in researching. There's areas for further research in empirical articles, and those are great ways to um, see if you can add to the body of knowledge because they're identifying areas that do need more research. So take that topic area that you identified as you go through those steps and think about what the subject is and the uh, what or what why or what about uh, the curiosity for the subject and try to put together a research topic statement. For example, what factors contribute to secondary students with mild disabilities use of assistive technology? So that's my first stab at trying to articulate what it is I want to research. So let's take a look at this sample topic statement in those three areas and try to refine it further. So for specificity, I would look at the statement and see if I could identify some key words. Uh, secondary students, mild disabilities, assistive technology seem to pop out to me. As I think about those keywords, I think, are they specific enough or can I narrow my topic down even further? And as I look at assistive technologies, I think, well, technologies um, really could encompass technologies for mobility, for communication. I'm not really interested in those areas, but I am interested in how technology helps learning. So I added that to my statement. So now it says, use of assistive technologies for learning. So now I'm going to try to narrow it down by focus. I look at the main subject of my statement. If I don't have a subject, then I need to identify one. And what I mean by subject is students, teachers, the technologies themselves, administrators, families, community groups, um, just who is involved in this topic. I've identified students, so I think that my sample statement is pretty good, but I will tell you that in my pro dissertation proposal defense, um, I had to add another statement, another research area um, to my study proposal that addressed the um, subject area, the subject of teachers. So uh, you'll see that if you look at my sample dissertation. Um, but for your literature review, I would advise you to just do one subject, and you can expand it further later. So just start with one. That's what I would highly recommend. Finally, let's try to refine it by the perspective. So I want to see if my um, statement communicates that um, what I am interested in, what would be contributing to the, the use of the technology. So as I think about it, 
maybe I could specify this, that there are different kinds of elements like student, teacher, and environmental elements. And I'll add that to my statement. So my revised statement from all of this is what student, teacher, and environmental factors contribute to secondary students with mild disabilities use of assistive technologies for learning. And like I said before, I, I come at this from an educational technology vantage point, and I think this is pretty evident because I use the phrase use of assistive technologies for learning in my statement. So I encourage you to go through these steps on trying to identify a topic and then refining that um, topic to uh, a research topic statement.